Alright, with the Sakura Jima update, we got the ability to buff our character with the giant lotus flowers that you see around in the caves. You get to bottle these flowers into either remedies or elixirs, but the problem is that you need so many of them for each recipe. So today we're going to talk about the fastest ways to collect these flowers so your pal team could be as jacked as you made them look. So first off, there's five types of flowers. There's the life lotus, which boosts health, the stamina lotus, which boost stamina go figure there's the power lotus that boosts attack the speed lotus which boosts work speed and finally we have the carrying lotus that does weight if you want to obtain these flowers as fast as possible you have to explore every room in the dungeon they spawn in like the most awkward places like you need to actually look into like the weird corners and crevices of the caves you'll be surprised at where you could find them we're like a little bit iffy on the exact types of flowers that each region gives but here's like the general probabilities so the snow biomes give the stamina and the carrying lotus the most the desert biome gives the power and the life lotus and the volcanic regions give the speed and the carrying lotus right and from what i understand the sakura jima island gives the same probabilities for the lotuses as the snow biomes so keep that in mind now here's the thing, you want to be rushing the boss first and then exploring the cave because the thing is the enemies stop spawning when you kill the boss so that way you can actually, you know, run through the cave without having to stop for all of these very very annoying humans that will try their best to stop you in your tracks. Of course, you're better than that because you've been drinking the potions the entire time so they don't actually really stop you. But they are very annoying. Yeah, you probably want to go full Usain Bolt on a pal as well. So you want to take them out like a Rayhound. Or if you're like earlier in the game, probably like Dire Hall, right? Because those are the faster or fastest mounts. Or for example, you could take Fenglobe. Because Fenglobe has that sexy triple jump, which we all love. Or something like Shadow Beak if you're later into the game. Because Shadow Beak can also could both run and fly. And your Shadow Beak is small enough to actually fit through every hole in the cave, right? Yeah, there's there's always those hard points where you have to either fly or make your climb very awkwardly up the face of the cave to actually get to where you want to go. Let's not be like that. We now have we also now have Prickster, the bad boy pal, which is a definitely a very interesting way to describe him. But he has the partner skill which when activated it's called Scorpion Sona. It analyzes the airborne particles to find the dungeon exit, which means that you could just race through the dungeon first and then afterwards explore it. Make sure and carry a Prixo with you if you're going dungeoneering at this point. And if you didn't know, the supply drops that now fall to the ground randomly, they each contain an elixir. So make sure and find every single supply drop on the map. You will not regret it. Also too, if you're rich in the new Doge coins, you can purchase the elixirs from church merchants which is about as standard as you would expect you know it's really expensive to buy the elixirs though but you know yeah so if you invested in dogecoin you well now is your time to shine right also too the memory wiping medicine does not remove the stat points from elixirs that's important to note just in case you regretted putting everything into weight like we all did at the beginning of the game you don't need to do that anymore. So you'll probably find yourself using some memory wipe in medicine sooner or later, right? Cool, so that's everything you need to know about the permanent stat boosting potions. Like this video if you learned something and subscribe for some more Power World content, all right? So take care.